It is time now for Better Money. Joel Johnson is a certified financial planner and managing partner for Johnson Brunetti. He is here now to talk about the Secure Act 2.0 changes and really how the rules have changed for when we take our money out of our retirement account. So thanks for being here, Joel. Well, it's great to be here, Kara. And the Secure Act was a big deal. Remember, when COVID first hit, legislation was passed to try to encourage us to not only save money for retirement, but do some other things. And what we're talking about today is the retirement piece. And then Secure Act 2.0 was passed not too long ago, and that was an enhancement. And the whole idea here is Congress wants people to save for retirement because a lot of people wiped out some of their retirement savings during COVID. Okay, so here are some of the new rules. Okay, so number one, it used to be age 70 and a half, I guess, to have to start taking money out. Then it was 72. So now you don't have to start taking money out of your retirement account until age 73 if you don't want to. And eventually it'll be pushed back to age 75 in 2033. Right. So what people, most people have in their mind this age 70 and a half. Age 70 and a half is when I have to take money out of my retirement accounts whether I need to or not. That age is being pushed back because we're all living longer and they want people to preserve their retirement accounts if possible. So all the way out to age 2023, 20, by the time we get there, if you're just turning 75 in the, in the year 2023, 20, that's when you have to start taking money out. It's allowing us to leave that money alone, let it grow for a lot longer. Okay, and also know the type of account you have. Make sure to calculate the right amount to fulfill your RMD, which is uh, the required minimum distribution. That basically means at a certain age, you have to take some out. That's correct, but you've gotta know the type of account you have have because sometimes the account isn't it you think of it as a retirement account like a deferred compensation account that's not necessarily a qualified retirement account so you've got to understand the different accounts that you have whether if you work for a, a financial institution if you were a school teacher if you worked for a hospital or a not-for-profit you have different types of retirement accounts so make sure you understand the types of retirement accounts and I would say don't do the calculation yourself yeah you need someone with the, the, the software like you guys have because it really tells you and also uh, it's a penalty just to be clear it's a penalty is still 25 percent for not taking the right RMD so they're still gonna get you if you don't do it right they're gonna get you now it used to be 50 percent so it's a little bit better okay. and then the original secure act it went to 25 and they're gonna still keep it at 25 25%. But again, this penalty is way too severe. And what we tell most of our clients, the way we set things up is automatic. So the companies are calculating it. If there's a mistake made, it's their fault. They have to fix it. Okay, that's good. Uh, here's some more information for you to understand this. It's a free offer. It's called the Secure Act 2.0. To get it, go to bettermoneytv.com and Joel and the team will answer your questions and send it for free. We want everybody to get a copy of the book because it's really important stuff. It's your retirement. All right. Thank you so much, Joel. And that is Better Money.